hot. Mr. B here. If the delta H for a reaction is given, then determining the amount of heat energy transferred during the reaction process is quite simple. In this video, I will explain how to determine the amount of heat energy released or absorbed during the reaction by using delta H. Consider the following practice problem. How many joules of heat energy is absorbed during the formation of 55 grams of nitrogen 2 oxide according to the following equation where nitrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas to produce 2 moles of nitrogen 2 oxide. This reaction is endothermic. I know it is endothermic because the delta H for the reaction is a positive 182.6 kilojoules. The molar ratio of the reaction is 1 to 1 to 2. Since the practice problem is asking about the formation of the nitrogen 2 oxide, it is better now to rewrite this equation in terms of one mole of the nitrogen 2 oxide. To do so, simply divide the entire equation by 2 to generate the following equation. 1 half N2 plus 1 half O2 yields 1 mole of nitrogen 2 oxide. Since I divided the equation by 2, I must also divide the delta H by 2. A positive 182.6 kilojoules divided by 2 will equal a positive 91.3 kilojoules. By reducing the original equation to 1 mole of nitrogen 2 oxide and dividing the delta H value by 2. I may now write that the delta H or standard delta H is equal to 91.3 kilojoules per mole of the nitrogen 2 oxide. Now it's a simple matter of finding the moles of nitrogen 2 oxide provided in the practice problem. We're given 55 grams of nitrogen 2 oxide. To find moles of nitrogen 2 oxide, simply divide by the molar mass. 55 grams divided by 30 grams per mole will equal 1.83 moles of the compound. To find the amount of heat absorbed during the formation of 1.83 moles of the compound, simply multiply 1.83 mole times 91.3 kilojoules per mole. This will give a value of 167.1 kilojoules. Or more specifically, a positive 167.1 kilojoules.